Hi everybody, welcome to Tour Tuesdays Allentown here at The Hive. My name is Megan, I am back here on Tuesday doing Tour Tuesdays as I am every week. Super happy to show you guys some really cool stuff here at our newest property, The Hive Allentown, located right at 7th and Linden. A couple little uh, housekeeping things before we get into today's show. As you guys know, every single week we do give away a gift card to the Downtown Allentown Market. Last week's gift card was won by Lee Stout. So Lee, please reach out to us. We will let you know how to pick up your gift card. If you're wondering, how do I get this gift card? It's very simple. All you have to do to enter to win is ask a question during today's live show. So use that little comment box down below to ask your questions and we'll be sure to answer them on the air here. If we don't get to your question during the show, we'll be sure to answer you after the fact for sure. Today is super exciting because we're actually going to take a look at two different apartments here in the Hive, two different studio slash one bedroom layouts that I think you guys are really going to love. As always, I am joined by my wonderful co-host, Miss Christina, who will be fielding your questions live on the air, um, as well as asking some additional questions too, as she thinks of them and as you guys think of them, um, to show you guys this amazing space. So I am, like I said, showing you two different apartments today. The first apartment um, is what I would call our more traditional studio layout, which is what we're standing in right now. So studios have become so popular over the last couple years um, as small kind of efficiency spaces that get you the most bang for your buck. Um, least amount of rent with great space and access to all these amazing amenities. So I am standing in our um, kind of standard Delta One layout, um, typical studio. So we're standing in the main living and sleeping space right now. I know that studios can be a little bit hard to picture in terms of your furniture and where you're going to put that stuff, which is why we actually do have a studio model in the building. So as we get further into Tour Tuesday, we're actually going to show you the furnished model, but I would definitely be sure to check out our photos and our 3D tours online. But you've got this great open concept space. As we mentioned in a lot of the other um, episodes, this building has amazing closet space. So closets right behind me. Now we don't have electricity on this floor quite yet, so I know it's a little bit dark in there, but a huge walk-in closet for your studio apartment. And then plenty of space to do a queen size bed, full size couch. If you'd like, you can mount your TVs to the wall. And then you've got these amazing windows that kind of fill this entire wall here. I know we sort of started the episode looking out here, yeah, there's some film on the window so it's a little bit hard to see but we have studios that face inside towards this courtyard as well as outside towards the city and in terms of the second courtyard too so lots of options in terms of view christina do you have anything so far no no one has <laughs> asked any questions yet but it's still early if you're just tuning in remember ask a question get a 25 five dollar gift card to the downtown town market that easy. It's true. It, it, it really is so easy. Easiest twenty five dollars you ever made. Exactly. Um, so right behind me, as we sort of work our way through the apartment, you've got this big, beautiful kitchen. So even in a studio apartment, you're not sacrificing cabinet space. We of course don't have any of the hardware and stuff on here yet, but you've got cabinets going all the way up with tons of storage, and of course all of your appliances, like in any other apartment, are included. So refrigerator, stove, microwave, dishwasher, and a full-size washer and dryer in every apartment. I know that's a must-have for a lot of people, so it's great to have that washer and dryer right inside your own unit. Don't have to share with anybody else, which is always nice. <laughs> We've got great closet space at the front of the apartment here too. On the topic of that washer dryer, this closet here is of course where that will live. And then bathroom I know is very difficult for you guys to see because we don't have lighting, but Bathroom space is going to have your bathtub with the tile surround, great counter space and great storage, just like all the other apartments. And at the front of the apartment here, we have a coat closet, great for your entryway storage. And one of the really cool things that I'm so excited for you guys to see in the model is that in this little nook in the front of the apartment here, we're actually going to have built in shelving. So there's going to be shelves built into the walls here, solid wood shelves um, for your tchotchkes and your photos and your knickknacks. Great place to throw your keys or your mail or your purse at the end of the day. Um, but that's going to be right here at the front of the apartment. If you'd like to see this space furnished, what I would highly recommend is taking advantage of our 360 tours right on our website. And we actually just uploaded the 360 tours of both model apartments to the website yesterday. So if you visit our website, which is thehiveallentown.com, and click on 360 Tours and Gallery, you can tour this exact same unit furnished. 
so you can see how all your furniture is going to fit in here, see how everything comes together, and get some inspiration for your new apartment. We're going to go take a look at a second unit. If a studio might feel a little bit small for you and you need more space, but a one bedroom might not be on budget for you, we have some really great options, including junior one bedroom apartments, which is what we're gonna go look at now. Christina looks like she has a question for me. Yes, um, <laughs> someone asked, is, are there still studios available? Yes, yeah. there are. And what's, um, if you aren't familiar with how we've been leasing up so far, um, we've only released two floors of this building to the market. So there are still two more floors of the South building plus the entire North building. So if you're interested, we have plenty of options available for you. Um, with that being said, things are moving fast. So if there is a specific view that you're interested in, like looking towards the courtyard or maybe looking towards the North courtyard or um, 7th Street, whatever view works best for you, I would definitely recommend reaching out to us because certain views sometimes do move faster than others. So it's a good thing to contact us. And I have a resident from City Place asking, yeah. can City Place residents have access to the Hive? Um, amenities or, or no? So no. So the way that amenities work in our buildings is that you have access to the amenities in any community that shares a name with your community. So if you live at City Place, you have access to all the City Place amenities. The Hub, the um, 950, everything in City Place North and South. Um, the Hive is a standalone community. So the amenities here are just for Hive residents in the same way that the amenities at City Place are just for City Place residents. Hope that makes sense. And one more if we walk over, look at that. People are motivated by money. Um, is, there, is there bike storage at the Hive? Yes, uh, we do have bicycle storage in all of our buildings um, that's located right inside the building. So you don't have to utilize you know, your apartment to store your bikes and stuff like that. So let's head to see that junior one bedroom. I'd love to show it to you guys. So you can see we're still doing lots of work out here in the hallways. <laughs> but junior one bedroom is right next door. As I mentioned, the junior one bedroom apartments are kind of a nice hybrid between a studio and a one bedroom. So you get the space of a one bedroom apartment at the price point of a studio. It's really the best of both worlds. So when you enter the apartment where we walked in, there's a beautiful coat closet, nice big bathroom. Again, lighting is not great in here, but it's a little bit better than the other studio apartment to get a feel for space. And then of course, washer and dryer is gonna live right here for you. And then you have this open living space. So this is not just living and sleeping. This is living. Uh, so we'll get to the sleeping part of that soon. Kitchen extends all along this wall here. You've got a great open concept living space. I know it's a little hard to totally see with the um, appliances currently in the middle of the room here. Um, but one of the really cool things about this layout and about these junior one bedrooms is that they have balconies on them. So for safety purposes, we cannot go outside. We have no railings right now, but you can see this big, beautiful balcony outside the door here, located right off your main living space. So if you're wondering, okay, Megan, you said this is just living, where is sleeping? Sleeping is directly through the door to my right. So the reason why this is considered a junior one bedroom versus a regular one bedroom apartment is because there is no window in this bedroom. So if you are a person who likes a dark bedroom, this is the layout for you. If you work night shift, this is a fantastic layout. Now, lighting is not fantastic in here. We're gonna do our best to show you as we can since we don't have electricity on this floor yet. But huge standard bedroom space plus a closet. So you still do have the closet space as you would in any traditional one bedroom apartment. Um, just without the window. So again, night shift apartment, if you work night shift, great option. And if you prefer a nice, dark, cozy bedroom, great option for you. And it gets you the square footage of a one bedroom at more of a studio price. So that's why I think this is such a cool floor plan. And there's only a handful of them, a handful of them in the building, so they do move pretty quickly. Christina, do you have any more questions for me? One more from Chris Fawn asks, <laughs> My heart. <laughs> oh, are there multiple studio floor plans? There are. Christopher, I miss you. Thank you for asking the question. <laughs> we do have quite a few different studio layouts. You can check all of them out on our website, thehiveallentown.com, and clicking on floor plans. So these are just two examples of studios in the building, but I believe we have a total of seven or eight studio floor plans, so great options. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if you're interested in checking out The Hive, of course, you can use um, the button on our bio to schedule a tour. But if you'd like to come for a little bit different, more exclusive of an event, 
we are hosting an insta meet here at the hive on thursday evening so we're on thursday happy hour dinner time we're hosting an insta meet here um, it's five dollars to sign up but you do get a five dollar voucher to the downtown allentown market um, if you're like what's an insta meet <laughs> an insta meet is a gathering of um, photographers um, just residents um, people who are interested in the building coming here to do a photo walkthrough you can take photos videos um, sort of catalog your time through here. Um, these are special guided tours with our leasing team as well as our construction team. So you're going to get a really cool in-depth view of what this building is like. Um, and after the Insta Meet, we're all going to go to the market and hang out. Have dinner, a couple drinks, whatever floats your boat. So if you're interested in signing up for the Insta Meet, the link is in the bio, um, our bio right here online. So make sure you click that link and sign up. Um, we only have a handful of spots left. So we would love to see you guys here. Um, I will be here for the Insta Meet. Christina will be here. My wonderful cameraman, Brennan, will be here too. So we're all gonna be here to show you guys around and show you this amazing building and get you a behind the scenes look at some spaces that you might not see on a normal tour. Thank you guys as always for joining me for another episode of Tour Tuesdays here at The Hive. I will see you same place, same time next week and have a good one.